hello guys so today we are going to be talking about broiler farming so if you are someone interested in starting a broiler farm this video is actually for you watch this video and learn with us so hello guys currently now we are having about 70 broiler chicks here so we did a video on how we were brooding these particular broiler chicks and currently now they are at almost five weeks and if you can see they are sizable enough they are at almost five weeks so um i want to be telling you guys basically how much we make after raising 100 broiler chickens yes so the reason why we are having 70 here currently is because we sold out some of them at two weeks old yes so not everyone used to be able to brood chicks when i mean brooding is that first when they are a day old when they are a day old that's the prayer where you say brooding where you use the charcoal pot or your gas brooder to brood them so not everyone used to know how to do that so some people used to come when they are like two weeks to buy them because at that brooding stage that is a very delicate stage not everyone can really handle them so we sold some at two weeks to those people that were not able to brood some of our friends they came to pick up like 20 from us for them to now start continue raising them so that's why we are having about 70 remaining so i want to be telling you guys basically how much we make after raising these chickens to maturity at eight weeks because when once they are eight weeks they start going in for sale so after raising 100 of this chicken we can make a lot of money from it after raising them we can spend let me just say the total amount and cost we can spend for this whole chicken can be around from 200 so from 250 to 300k because of the high cost of feeding but after the whole thing we can make up to a gain of even 150k depends on how many mortalities you have if you don't have many mortalities then you are going to make good money from it as you guys can see and also and there is some few tips i want to be sharing with you guys that will help you also to make good money from this poultry family if you have people that are coming to do off taking in your poultry farm there is the people they, they call off takers those people that will just come and say okay i want to buy all like i want to buy all at the same time those people they call the off taker they will come maybe they buy like 50 or 100 at the same time depending on how many you are having in your farm if you have those kind of people as your buyers it used to be very very good but most times you will not really make a lot of gain from those people because their price might not be really high yes but if you have all these people that just come to pick them up for family use and for maybe for like for an event they just come to pick five those people are the ones that you use to hit good amount of money your off takers can be buying a chicken one one mature chicken for four thousand naira but you can sell that same size of chicken for even five thousand to six thousand for people that are buying one or people that are buying two so if you have potential buyers that are always coming to buy one or two from you then you select those ones that are really really big because as all these chicken are like this not all of them will grow together at the same time some of them will be bigger than some so what we do is we select this one that are really really big and keep it for those are potential buyers that come for one or two so that when they come we hit them good amount of money and get the money from them so i'm also going to be uh, telling you guys some few things you need to do basically so that you will not um face high mortalities in your poultry farm because if you face high mortality then that way you will not even be able to keep them to eight weeks and you will not be making good money from them and i'll be making more videos on poultry farming also in this our channel because we also keep hold uh, we also keep beds we also keep beds to here so we want your chicks are um into your farm it's not really really hard to keep these broilers it's not really really hard to keep them you don't even need uh a lot of expatriates and all that kind of thing once you know the basic things to do you'll not be losing them too much your chicks are not going to be dying so when once they are into your farm you need to give them antibiotics then you give them like uh, a vaccination after like one week after antibiotics multivitamin then you give them a vaccination after like one week so that's what we do basically then from then we do mainly organic we do mainly organic when i say organic like the bitter leaf we used to wash the bitter leaf after washing the bitter leaf we use the water and give them we mix the water into give their feeders and we give it to them that helps them a lot yes bitter leaf helps them a lot we use the organic way and sometimes we also take the bitter leaf and tie it around for them to also eat it too so the organic way is mostly the best a lot of people prefer organic farming also um um the aloe vera too also works very very well in helping them grow very fast the aloe vera 
a lot of you guys know aloe vera you can also use it to, to add to their medication it helps them a lot with their stomach and all so that's basically what we use for our broiler chicks when they just at the, that period where they are growing we don't give them any um medication every now and then and all of those things so we change our litter like this floor here we change it maybe once in a week because we don't like to keep them too much because as you guys can see our chickens are very very clean so we change it our litters like once in a week that's how often we change it once in a week we just pack it out then we bring in new one although the sawdust currently is really really expensive so <laughs> it's putting us out of plan although we still change it once a week but you can see our chicks are doing really really good so um after like our uh, chicks are up to eight weeks we are going to be having our off takers come and take the ones we want to sell then we are going to keep some of the heavier ones for our um personal buyers then we also have some of the little chicks here we just put in some little chicks here 50 there are 50 in here we are brooding them currently there are 50 in here so we just put them in here so these ones are going to be coming down as these other ones are going to be going out so these ones that are just like um, four days old currently they are four days old currently in the farm so once these ones are going these other ones are going to be coming down then we are going to be putting more yes so we have a lot of people we are going to be doing more videos and showing you guys how you can be going about all these things and we also are going to be doing another video on some organic medications you need to be using for your broiler chicks to help them gain weight fast within a short period of time and also how to cut costs on feeding because feeding is really really expensive currently as a poultry farmer you'll be spending a lot of money when it comes to feed buying feed and feeding your um broiler chicks you'll be spending a lot of money so we feed our chicks twice a day we feed them twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening but we can give them water like three times in a day you can give them water like three times in a day whereby if the weather is hot in the afternoon we can put water for them again so that they can drink because when the weather is really hot they get to drink a lot of water before i leave here i need to add water because you guys can see the water is already somewhere down here yeah. so we need to add in some water for them for them to drink and oh yes they're just jumping around because i came into the cage so I hope I've been able to explain some few things to you guys. We are going to be bringing you guys more and more videos on poultry farming as a whole. And also, our rabbit farming videos are still going to be coming up. Our farm visits are still going to be coming up. A lot of things you need to learn about livestock farming. This our channel can help you um, achieve that. If you are someone into livestock farming, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also liking our videos. So thank you for watching guys. Do have a nice day and peace.